Well, today we're going to be talking about hot water boilers, whether that be hydronic or domestic. We'll be talking to Steven Taylor. But before we get started, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, that little bell, if you click that, you will be notified of all of our videos, whether it's weekly boiler tips, uh, steam culture, or all of our boiling points. We look forward to being with you today. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and familiar face, Stephen Taylor in our uh, rental division. Stephen, it's cold, the weather is here and started getting me thinking a little bit about just hot water, man. And it's, uh, uh, I guess people are starting to call on hot water. Uh, I wanted to just talk about it. You know, you've got domestic and you've got hydronic. Um, could you just tell us the difference real quick? Domestic is potable water. So that's taking a shower, cooking food, drinking water that's domestic okay and hydronic what it's a new term we, we used to just call it hot water heating yeah so the hydronic is for heating buildings building heat heating spaces that's what the hydronic side is so you think a little bit about the building heat um and you've got you know eight floors let's say um and you're trying to do some heating there uh when somebody calls what what type of information do you need to to size a boiler First thing is the BTU of the current equipment. And then we want to know, you know, what's your flow rate? What's your temperature rise? What the return temperature, supply temperature? What do those look like to see, make sure that the equipment's going to be suitable for what they're trying to do? Uh -huh. And then, you know, the, the next, the last thing, one of the last things is fuel. You know, 99% of them is, is uh, natural gas. A few of them are propane, very little bit of oil unless you get in New York City and we don't, deal with those guys a whole lot. So when you actually have um, a system, is, is this system under pressure or? They're all under pressure. Most of them, you know, all the heating jobs, most of those are gonna be in a 30 to 50 pound range. Uh -huh. Of course, the domestic, that's gonna be city water pressure. So they're gonna be running 60 to 80 pounds somewhere in that, in that range. Okay, and you've got um, tanks that you have to have with these boilers? Typically you do. Sometimes if they're close enough to the building and they can use their existing storage tank, it makes it a lot simpler. Mm -hmm. We just take our, our circulating pump, go through our boiler, through their um, storage tank, and then they take their pump on their storage tank, goes through the building, then the building doesn't know that there is even a temporary boiler outside. That's mm -hmm. the simplest way to do it. If they've had a catastrophic failure or they're taking their complete boiler room out. Mm -hmm. Then we have to supply a storage tank and maybe another circulating pump to go through the building that gets a lot more in depth with the solution we have to provide for them in. And so um, typically in a heating application, what type of temperatures are you talking about? Heating typically is still in that 180 degree range. Okay. Uh, domestic uh, is, in, is 140, 130, 140. Um, <clears throat> but heating typically is a little higher temperature than, than domestic is. So at 180 degrees um, on the heating side, somebody calls you, um, is, is typical the water just coming in from the, you know, from the faucet? I mean, what, that, what are they doing? On a domestic side, that's what it will be. On the heating side, it's not. Heating side's all closed loop. Right. So we'll, they'll be bringing back, normally it's a 20 degree delta T across the, the building. So they'll be bringing back 160, taking out 180 through the building. And the, the circulating pumps circulate all the time, and then their control valves in their individual heaters in the in the building control the heating in the building itself. Okay, awesome. Well, you got domestic and hydronic, but what we do have is we got guys that know what they're doing, and so if you need something, make sure you give these guys a call. We'll see you next time on the Boiling Point.